Hi everyone, I'm Kristen Ma from HolisticVanity.com, also the author of Beauty Pure and Simple, an Ayurvedic approach to beautiful skin. And today I have the pleasure of uh, speaking to Dr. Ladd, who is an Ayurvedic physician, who is also the founder of the Ayurvedic Institute, which is in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which is where we are today. So thank you so much for speaking to um, I wanted to ask you about acne. So acne was actually something that I had for many, many years, almost 10 years. Um, and I wanted to get your opinion on how to uh, look at acne and treat acne from an Ayurvedic perspective. And I know this is quite complex because everybody has, you know, different dosha, different mm -hmm. um, environmental um, stressors. But if you could give some general uh, insight into uh, acne, it would be great. So acne is bump, pimple. They are due to pitta dosha. When systemic pitta goes in circulation, it comes under the skin, and under the skin, the pitta accumulate with whether into the epidermis or dermis, and there the capillaries pop and it creates bump. So there is too much sebaceous secretion sebum which is uh, called cleda and a sweda so these people whose uh, sweat is acidic who have excess pitta under the skin and they prone to get acne generally pitta girl or pitta woman during menstruation estrogen is high pitta is high for ovulation and menstruation then during earlier couple of weeks before the menstrual cycle starts these pitta girls get acne on the face teenage mm. especially teenage is the age of pitta and then when menstrual flow happens and bleeding happens then estrogen level drops down pitta calms down and naturally these acne disappear so according to ayurveda acne is entry of pitta in the rakta dhatu under the skin mm -hmm. And that is why it creates acne mostly on the face or on the upper part of the chest, body, back. Sometimes some people have acne all over the trunk. Right. So this is a high pitta disorder. Mm -hmm. So um, from this perspective, you think that people should be eating a more cooling diet, using things that are going to be anti-inflammatory, because mm -hmm. this makes sense. So this makes a lot of sense from my perspective as well, because I always treat acne as an infl as inflammation in the skin, whereas a lot of um, health sorry, whereas a lot of skin practitioners will sometimes dry out acne, which can also aggravate inflammation. That's correct because there is a local patch of inflammation where capillaries pop up and create acne. So generally dry skin create acne because vata pushing pitta. Vata is mm. dry. Mm -hmm. Some chubby people they get less acne but that is kapha blocking pitta. Mm -hmm. So acne as a whole is a pitta disorder. It could be dual doshic and triple doshic disorder. Dual dosage disorder, vata pushing pitta under the skin, even skin is dry and they get acne. And kapha pushing, uh, kapha blocking pitta under the skin, their skin has more oily secretion mm -hmm. and they get um, bumps or uh, pimples. Mm -hmm. So if we look into the Samparapti pathogenesis, these are subtleties, monodoshic, double doshic and triple doshic. Uh, pimple or acne disorder. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is that obviously we need to look into each individual and what's pushing or what's aggravating Correct. pitta but all acne has a pitta role within Correct. it. Correct and moment ago you said which is beautiful that what we eat plays very important role. People who eat cayenne pepper, curry pepper, chili pepper, hot spicy food, pickles and oily food, greasy food like too much cheese and peanut butter they, their pitta aggravates including tomato mm. and then acidic the sweat become acidic mm. and these people get more pittagenic uh, acne because pitta provoking diet lifestyle interesting well even that stress for even sure. stress anger fear anxiety that stress oral examination then student gets stress and they get acne. 